ढोल बाज ढोल बाज ढाई ढाई ढम ढम ढाई नगाड़ संग ढोल बाज ढोल बाज ढाई 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 ढम ढाई ये दिन तड़ाक दिन तड़ाक आचार के तड़ाक पैरों से बेड़ी जरा खोल नगाड़ संग ढोल बाज ढोल बाज गुरुर ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः Yes, yes, we have seen the clouds of darkness this year, but the light is visible and will take care of this darkness. Good afternoon, Australia. Good, up, good morning, India. Welcome to all guests from India and Australia. I am Suresh Bhargav, your host for today's event. Let the Lord Rama give us the power of knowledge to kill this COVID-19, the Ravan of this century. The knowledge is Ramban, which killed the devil. Sharing this new unique intellectual infrastructure between us will create knowledge that will care all humankind. And that is the promise we make to this Diwali. RMIT has developed a great concept of life. Finish. It has developed an attitude of gratitude. With these words, I would like to invite my colleague, Professor Sujiva Satungi, to express our gratitude to the original owner of the land. Over to Sujiva. Thanks, Suresh. Uh, great to be here. Uh, and I'm so glad to be able to acknowledge the first people of Australia in this happy occasion. Um, next slide, please. I arrived in Australia 33 years ago uh, as an international student. Now, as common with academic communities, I was more or less insulated 
from engagement with the first people of Australia. However, as, a, as my children started going through primary school, uh, I learned a lot about the first people of Australia. So I was able to draw parallels between my heritage and also the heritage of first people of Australia. So if you look through the, the figures on the screen, you can see Sri Lanka uh, in the map with India and colonial invasion in the Indian subcontinent has happened number of times. In 1500s, we had Portuguese invasion. In 1700s, we had uh, Dutch invasion. And in 1800s, we had um, British invasion. And then we had the independence declared sometime in 1940s, I think 1940s too in India, 1948 in Sri Lanka. So if you draw a parallel between first people of Australia, um, the recognition of them as people was missing. And the comparison between the two nations is uh, very clear. Uh, Indian subcontinent survived because we had a very strong civilization and a monarchy and leadership behind the people. And uh, first people of Australia were not that lucky. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we are now moving towards reconciliation of uh, some activities uh, that has happened at the time. Next slide, please. Um, the the favorite quote I have from the Australian national anthem is this, for those who come across the seas, we have boundless plains to share. So this expresses the sentiment uh, of Australia, which is a tolerant community, uh, very multicultural, and we are going through a process of reconciliation. And we are so lucky to be an in institution which is committed to reconciliation. So Bandigiri is the initiative, RMIT own initiative, which has enhanced all the community understanding of the reconciliation with First People. So on these thoughts, I'd like to acknowledge the people of the Woiwarang and Boonwarang language groups of the Eastern Cooling Nations, on whose unceded lands we conduct the business of the university. Aramati University respectfully acknowledges their ancestors, elders, past and present. Aramati also acknowledges the traditional custodians and their ancestors of the lands and waters across Australia where we conduct our business. Thank you. Thank you, Sujiva. Melbourne, one time known as the most livable city on this planet is the home of multiculturalism in Australia and has the biggest population of Indians in Australia. Diwali has always been celebrated here in a grand ways. Let me show you a glimpse of that. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we bring India to RMIT. With these notes, let me allow to welcome and introduce two great leaders and mentors of RMIT, the Vice Chancellor and the Chancellor of this great university. First, Martin Bain, RMIT Vice Chancellor and President, is the one who introduced the concept of life at RMIT platform, which also matches with the Indian philosophy. As a passionate champion of diversity and advocate for the strength in community, I know he uploads, he upholds the spirit of this occasion every way. My second leaders will be Dr. Jiggy Starsky. Now, Dr. Starsky is the chancellor of RMIT University and the chairman of the NBN Co, NBN Company, the former chairman of the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organization and the Oprah Australia. He has also served as a non-executive director of, on the boards of many multinationals around the globe. He is a fellow of both Australian academies. In 2014, Jiggy was honored by the Order of Australia, by the government of Australia for his services to the Tertiary Education Administration. With these notes, I would like to invite Martin Bain, the Vice Chancellor and the President of RMIT University. Martin, over to you. Thank you so much, Suresh, and welcome everybody. And Suresh, as always, thank you for your very kind words. It's a, it's a pleasure working with you, and thank you for your leadership, making sure that we brought this, this celebration together today. And it's such a, such a pleasure for me to be with you all again. Seeing those photographs from last year, Suresh, put a very big smile on my face. It brought back some very, very happy memories. Um, Diwali, the beloved Hindu festival of light, symbolizes the victory of good over evil, the supremacy of light over dark, and the triumph of honesty and bravery over malice and fear. 2020 has been a devastating year for so many around the world. Weeks lived in isolation, friends and families affected or at risk, and the ever-present concern about what could be around the corner. We're not used to living this way, and it's not something any of us would like to get comfortable with. So it's simply wonderful to see the turnaround in our Melbourne community with restrictions easing and some sense of normality starting to resume. But to the many people joining us from places where there is still great concern, my thoughts are with you and I hope our story offers you some hope. This experience has united us across the globe, even while it's kept us apart. It's believed that on the eve of Diwali, Lakshmi, the Indian goddess of wealth, brings happiness, prosperity, and abundance to this world. And you know what? That sounds pretty good timing to me right now. At RMIT, we're known, as you heard from Sajiva, for our diversity, inclusivity, and multiculturalism. Students from all communities, backgrounds, cultures, and religions call RMIT home. And let me tell you, I'm grateful for that every day. We're so much richer for the range of perspectives and histories we have the good fortune to draw on. RMIT has always worked collaboratively with India and has developed valuable and strategic partnerships with Indian research institutions and laboratories. We've also established strategic partnerships with leading Indian institutions, such as the Indian Institute of Technology Bombay. And these partnerships result in valuable scientific outputs, grants, and innovative research and may long and, and long may I should say our collaborations continue. If we take one thought away from this gathering today, I hope that it's the power of friendship and the light it shines. Friendship between our countries, between our shared communities, and between the amazing people of RMIT who have supported each other through 2020, a dark time. I can recall many moments during this year when someone held up a light for me when I needed it. And I will always remember those moments with a deep sense of appreciation. So today to all of you, my friends, may occasions like this keep us connected, always grateful for the friendships we share and the lights we shine for each other. I wish you all a very happy, prosperous and safe Diwali. And it's now my pleasure to introduce our chancellor and my friend, Dr. Ziggy Switkowski, AO. Over to you, Ziggy.
Are you there, Ziggy? I am. Over to Thank you, Chancellor. Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor, and hello, everybody. Diwali, the Festival of Light, is the holiest and the largest festival of India. It takes place in autumn, and it's always celebrated with great zest and festivity, as the Vice Chancellor has noted. Of course, it's spring in the Southern Hemisphere. I am. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear Jiggy. Yes, we can, we hear, can Jiggy. hear Jiggy. It's spring in the Southern Hemisphere, and from RMIT University campus in Melbourne, we see a beautiful sunny day, perfect for celebration. When I think of the significance of light, uh, are we having trouble with audio? You, say, you sound good, Ziggy. Thank you. You're, you can continue, continue. When I think of the significance of light in an RMIT context, light forms the theme of many research endeavours at RMIT, such as light based photography, nanotechnology, electronics, and architecture. Of course, the people of RMIT always enjoy celebrating the Festival of Light with our vibrant Indian community. We respect and welcome the diversity and the many cultures of our university, and our Indian students and staff are active and expanding part of RMIT life. We also value our strategic partnerships in India. Nearly a decade ago, now, RMIT initiated its joint PhD program with Indian with Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, IICP. The program allows students to spend two and a half years of their PhD at IICP and their final year at RMIT. To date, 33 students have completed their degrees. Based on this success, in 2017, RMIT initiated a new joint PhD program with the Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research, governing academic body for 39 Indian national CSIR laboratories. 35 students are now enrolled in this program and 100 are expected by 2022. These programs leverage the strength of Indian innovation and their extensive capabilities. Our research collaborations and partnerships also allow RMIT to harness the best of Indian research facilities, such as the innovative IITs, scale up and pilot facilities, the Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, and the expertise of the Indian Institute of Petroleum. Working relationships like this have resulted in significant grants received and put to important use at RMIT. Of course, it's the human relationships form that make all the difference we can achieve together. Looking ahead, RMIT will continue to empower and provide opportunities to the talented people of India and of Indian heritage, both here and far, and work in strategic partnership with local organisations to our mutual benefit. 2020 has been a challenging year for everyone, so it's fantastic to be celebrating Diwali at a time when we can also celebrate at the end of the for our Melbourne community in particular, as we look to Bronx Days ahead back on campus. Let's hope the same can be said uh, for all of our friends around the world. Once again, I wish you all a very happy, prosperous, and safe Diwali. Back to you, Suresh. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my mentors. Thank you, Jiggy and, uh, um, and Martin. Uh, let me introduce you, Alan Finkels, because he's our chief scientist of Australia. Unfortunately, he could not join us, but he immediately sent the message, which I have displayed to you. And Alan Finkels, uh, Order of Australia and Fellow of the both academies, is the chief scientist of Australia, an Australian neuroscientist, engineers, entrepreneurs, Philanthropist. He also served as a chancellor of Monash University in 2008 and 2016. So that is the message. He is also passionate about our collaboration with India. He is also passionate about the multiculturalism in India. May I also allow you? May I also pass on to you the message of the Indian consulate, the 
uh, Rajkumar. He is also watching very carefully, serving all the students and the Indian communities on this, and a very passionate of these collaborations. His message is is there. He's clearly mentioned is that Diwali is a very important occasion that brings India to Melbourne. Melbourne is the most multicultural, multicultural city probably in the world. If definitely is in Australia, but I can say it is probably most multicultural uh, city in the world. So he enjoy that. We enjoy Raj, and we we appreciate his support to all the students and his staff over there. Then and and then with these remarks, let me allow to introduce you my great friend and great advocate of the academic and industry collaborator, Dr. Ajit Sapra. Dr. Ajit Sapra is a group president of R&D of Reliance Industries India. Reliance Industries uh, from India is a is a one of the biggest industries not in India but probably in the world. I was looking the Wikipedia yesterday, which says that Jamnagar refinery size is biggest bigger than the size of the London. Can you imagine that? J Dr. Ajit Sapra maintained as the senior group president of R&D of Reliance Industries. He is PhD from University of Delaware, MBA from Cornell University. He is a business leader who, pen, who passionately believe in industry academic collaboration, and he is a signatory of MOU between RMIT and Reliance Industries. Over to Ajay Sapra. Uh, yeah, thanks, Suresh. Uh, yeah, distinguished guests, students, and friends, it is an honor and privilege to participate in this Indo-Australian celebration of. Digital Diwali fitting with the current times at RMIT Melbourne, Australia. My sincere thanks to distinguished Professor Suresh Bhargava to include me in this august gathering of accomplished scholars. Uh, Diwali is undoubtedly the most significant festival celebrated across India. It signifies triumph of good over evil and light over darkness. This hopeful Diwali sentiment is especially critical in these darker times of worldwide COVID pandemic. Uh, scientists and engineers are making great strides and contributing tremendously from rapid COVID testing kits to PPEs to therapeutics and now to vaccines with conviction and self-confidence at a speed never seen before. A bright light to end the pandemic is in sight despite recent spikes in COVID cases across the world. The Australia-India strategic partnership is accelerating in recent years beyond education to new levels of cooperation across many sectors uh, based on common interest and shared values. The knowledge partnerships, as I would call them, between India and Australia, both academic and industry, uh, it certainly goes beyond student exchange, beyond research and development projects. It actually helps build capacity across our societies to meet challenging uh, challenges of shared future. Uh, I guess I was asked to give some message to our young colleagues. So to my young colleagues who are pursuing their academic career, my simple advice is to follow your passion, be prepared to work hard to overcome obstacles, and above all, don't let anyone limit your dreams, your attitude, will dictate your altitude in life. It's a simple message. Now coming back to Diwali, may the digital lamps of this Diwali fill your life with good health, success, and happiness. So happy Diwali to all. Actually today I'm, I'm in the US and perhaps the COVID cases will lead the world. So I think the message of Diwali will certainly help everyone and we need it here in the US in particular. Happy Diwali to everyone. Uh, back to you, Suresh. Uh, Suresh, could you unmute, please? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ajit. And also, let me allow to our RMIT great friend, the Vice Chancellor of the ACSIR Academy of India, Professor Rajinder Sagwan. Rajinder Sagwan is the director, what we call it, the Vice Chancellor Academy of Scientific and Innovation Research, a great scientist, fellow of the National Academy of Science of India, an agriculture scientist. He's a biological scientist, agriculture scientist. Most importantly, he's a passionate supporter of the RMIT ACSR collaboration. He's the man who's a doer. 
He is responsible for connecting RMIT to all CSR laboratories network of India. He is a very simple, down to earth man, but a great scientist and a great friend. Over to you, Rajender. Dear colleagues, students, ladies and gentlemen at RMIT University Australia and ACSIR India, I wish you all, your friends and families, a very happy and prosperous Diwali. Diwali is a festival of lights. It also marks the beginning of a new year. In certain calendars of Indian tradition, which these calendars are lunisolar calendars, where the both movements of sun and moon, they are coordinated to adjust into a year. And Diwali marks the beginning of a new year in one of the Indian calendars. I wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year on this occasion. Diwali, we look at the festival of lights and we look at the history of Diwali celebration. It goes in several thousand years back. And as human species, our definition of light has always evolved. As a human species, when the agriculture after fire, fire is considered the first discovery of human being. After learning from the wild fires, the human being developed a process or a technology to, to ignite fire. And next to fire is light because it allowed the human species to perform in all situations, particularly in darkness. We cannot compare what is the, we cannot have the same meaning of, exactly the same meaning of light on those days and today's. Today's light symbolizes many, many things. Therefore, this is the festival which is educative in all manners and it is guiding in all manners through the symbol of lights. I will also say that agriculture is the first trade for the human species and had there not been agriculture, probably the societies and these, uh, these uh, habitations should not have organized into the present day we look at the world. Therefore, so this festival also symbolizes the fusion with the first harvest after rainy season and after monsoon. There is a similarity between Australia and India that we all have, we both have monsoons. And monsoons are the basis of our first prosperity for, and for first the sustainability on, the, on, on for our livelihood. Australia and India, they symbolize actually a full climate map of the world. Half of the, th half of the time we represent the climate of the world and the next half Australia represents the climate of the world. Therefore, we have, we find a similarity between the two. I, I, I feel I am re indeed very uh, grateful. I appreciate that RMIT leadership, particularly the key captainship of Suresh, they organized this event. It also reflects and actually it makes me pride that RMIT takes care of the students which come from all over the world to RMIT University and they, they promote the multiculturalism of the campus. Indeed, when we come together, we learn from each other. Today, I believe in my own, I personally believe that food and festivals are no longer limited to any particular section or a community. They are all our togetherness. The together we come in today's time, together we celebrate, together we learn from each other. This is true for all the tales and stories that we have behind our festivals in all parts of the world. We, we need to look at how we can, how we get those values which have been actually anticipated or learned at that time. They have a much bigger meaning. We learn from each other, we celebrate together, and we, we actually face challenges together. In that spirit, let us make it a, stay, make it a, a, a tradition 
and aromatics makes it a memorable tradition that we begin in that spirit and let us let us work together bigger let us celebrate together bigger and let us the, let us face and address challenges together in that spirit i i indeed feel proud that acsir has the first academic collaboration outside india with rmit university and i am very happy with the way it has it has progressed so soon so nicely and so much to a scale today acsir has more than 5000 phd students in science and engineering the meaning of this number is that it almost represents 10% of the total students enrolled in phd in india and it is pan india operations of academic activities happen we have now about 45 academic centers which are mostly C C uh, national laboratories of csir and other agencies these are the richest laboratories with respect to infrastructure for scientific research and the scientific capability of the mentorship with the csir scientists and this is a great opportunity when a, when the rmit with the with the own strengths of faculty and infrastructure work together with acsir with the csir strengths through acsir we can we can address the problems which are which are common to us and the problems which are common to the planet i am sure with this this with this space growing further we have many big things to achieve i wish everyone a very prosperous year ahead and a very productive time and very excellent excellence by journey together thank you all take care god bless you all thank you raj really appreciate but there is no excuse for that great indian feast next time we meet in delhi indian <laughs> food cannot yes, be avoided sir. no way in the world sure ladies and gentlemen can i introduce you the some of the indian legends who were the key milestones of our partnership with india the one the names came in my mind is dr ramesh mishelkar fellow of royal society fellow of the both academy of australia fellow of the 39 academies around the globe is the president of the global alliances research alliances which covers even csro australia he was the great friend of rmit for many years he met with all our vice chancellor and chancellor all the times is in there he is the champion who signed the first mou between rmit and acsir as the founder chancellor of the acsir india dr mishelkar has been the director general secretary government of india and the president of the indian national science academy he the government of india has honored him one of the highest civilian honors of the country padan bibushans unfortunately he won't be here with us because of technical problems he tried several times but he immediately sent me a video which we will run in a minute but before i do that i want to introduce the all the two other genius of india another genius is professor chandshekar the current chancellor and chairperson of the academy of scientific and innovation acsir he is also the ex director of the csir siri and has served a member of the governing bodies of many education institutions in india dr chandshekar has also played a key role in the formulation and execution of government of india department of electronics national initiatives in the microelectronics research and education and the third one the the greatest faint of rmit professor lakshmi kentham professor lakshmi kentham is the first female director of the csr laboratories of india since independence of india and the inaugural director of the rmit iict joint research centers she is a real champion who brought rmit in india research collaboration together he is an adjunct professor of rmit since last two decades he has published many papers got the joint grant together with us a globally renowned scientist he has made outstanding contribution towards industrial catalysis ladies and gentlemen let me introduce these leaders to you in their videos because they could not come because of the technical difficulties we have with india over to you Let us watch their videos. What did what did they say? I want to extend my very warm greetings uh, uh, on this uh, occasion of Festival of Lights, Dipavali, to my extended family. And I say extended family because uh, I remember 
starting from 2007 when I started coming to Australia as Sir Louis Matheson, distinguished professor every April. Every time I came, my friend Suresh Bhargava made sure that I come to RMIT. We built those bonds. I remember when I was a chancellor of Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research, uh, we built uh, these research partnerships and that research partnership has uh, grown so beautifully today, so magnificently today with uh, uh, several uh, Indian PhD scholars uh, benefiting uh, uh, from it. I remember each visit I would come, I would meet the chancellor, I would meet the vice chancellor of uh, uh, RMIT. I'm sorry this year I could not uh, make it because of the uh, pandemic, uh, but I'm sure next April uh, I'll be uh, around. Uh, well, this is a festival for celebration, but if you look at the year 2020, I remember on 1st of January, I had sent messages to all of you and I have it in front of me. I'll just uh, recall the message. Uh, I tried to find out the meaning of number 2020 and uh, uh, I had said, uh, here is what I found. The number 2020 has a resonance of focus and relationships, consciousness, pragmatism and teamwork and contains in finite potential for accomplishing a secure foundation for the future. That's what we are looking for. And of course, 2020 was different. We saw uh, the coronavirus pandemic, the loss of lives, livelihoods. The whole world has been uh, in a reset uh, mode at the moment. But I'm a great believer in human spirit. And it is important to recall that right now, because Deepavali itself means victory of uh, light over darkness. It means uh, victory of knowledge over ignorance. Uh, it means victory of good over evil. I'm quite sure with this human spirit, 2021 will be a different year. And what a good to start this turnaround uh, than uh, this wonderful uh, festival of lights, uh, the Pauli. So my greetings to all of you, all my extended family. The Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Professor Suresh Bhargava, and distinguished members of RMIT Academic Fraternity. Greetings to you from ACSIR. And thank you for inviting me to this online Diwali celebration. Diwali, the Festival of Lights, signifies the return of Prince Rama back to a joyous reception by his people after vanquishing a conceited and powerful but immoral king and his regime. Rama has been raised to the level of a deity and he is worshipped as an epitome of rectitude, courage, morality and sense of duty to his people. His rule has become synonymous with good governance. Diwali beckons us to put our strengths together to make a better world. Our collaboration with RMIT is in that larger spirit. And we hope that it would become stronger with time for the good of our two countries and the wider world. Greetings and best wishes for Diwali, for the festival season ahead through Christmas and New Year. Thank you very much. Dear friends, happy Diwali to you all. And I have been affiliated with our committee for nearly two decades and have the pleasure of being an adjunct professor at the Center for Advanced Materials and Industrial Chemistry. And I was also lucky to host RMIT executives when they visited Hyderabad, India for the inauguration of RMIT IACP Joint Research Center in 2011. So far, 23 students from this program have graduated with 100% employment and are now working all over the world. The relationship between RMIT and IACP is 
growing further. And I also have the pleasure of to visit RMIT as the director of the CSR laboratory with my colleagues to meet the RMIT vice chancellor, deputy vice chancellor, academics, and students. I also have the pleasure to join the grand Diwali celebration of RMIT in 2015. It's a great feeling to see how much RMIT cares its Indian students and the community. COVID-19 has brought amazing challenges, but also presents an opportunity for us to unite from far on digital platform. In any organization, it is the people who make the difference. And you have that person, Professor Suresh Bhargava with you, who has connected RMIT with top to bottom from the government of India to the students. Thank you. Thank you to my all partners, all the three genius of India. But you know that this partnerships is both ways. We have the champions in India. Also, we have the champions in RMIT. So let me introduce you one by one, one by one, the champions of who are passionately connected RMIT to India, who has supported me and supported these programs all the way. By the way, unfortunately, one of my dear colleagues, Professor Peter Collins, the DVC Globals, could not join us today because of his pre-commitment, but he passed on to a happy message to happy Diwali to all of you, all of us. Let me introduce you uh, the present deputy vice chancellors of the College of the Science, Engineering and Health, which will be a College of the STMs and, and a digital innovation in Australia. The Professor Alex Subic, is Thank currently you. leading a national network of industry 4.0 test labs and committees for the future of work education and training under the auspices of the australian industry groups he served on a number of national and international committees and panels including as a chair of the european research councils alex over to you Thank you so much, Suresh, and, and thank you for all your effort and the team to put together this wonderful festival. Dear friends and colleagues at the Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research in India, our colleagues at RMIT and our partners, I'm really privileged to be part of the Diwali celebrations at RMIT this year. As we've heard, the holiest and largest Indian festival marking the victory of light over darkness. You might not see, but I had this afterglow with a candle lit next to my computer. Uh, Suresh has kindly educated me. The lighting of candles and lamps is the Indian philosophy and symbolic representation of the lighting of human soul to bring prosperity, joy, and excellence in our lives. And what a time, you know, what a timely celebration at the end of a very difficult year, probably the disruption of our lifetimes. Uh, recently, I had the opportunity to meet firsthand with all of our RMIT and Academy in India PhD students virtually during these challenging times midst COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm pleased to see the resilience and determination in coming out of these difficult times without sacrificing the quality of their research and the outcomes of their research that are already finding way to leading international journals and into translation with their able supervisors. Our college and university in general is determined to increase the number of students affiliated to the RMIT and Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research in India and affiliated institutes. We have a very pragmatic uh, but realistic plan to increase our PhD student numbers you know, through this program to about 100 in the next few years. This will represent a major milestone for our collaboration with India that has now lasted almost a decade formally, but informally more than two decades, as you've heard. Moreover, we are looking to expand the research collaboration beyond the joint PhD programs to create and sustain an intellectual infrastructure between our institutions where innovation and translation can take place without any boundaries and can serve the people of our societies in our respective countries. Again, I wish you all a very happy, prosperous and safe Diwali. Hopefully when the COVID normal conditions have been reached, I along with Professor Suresh Bhargava and our teams 
will get an opportunity to meet all of you personally in India. A very happy Diwali to you all and a special greeting to all of our wonderful PhD research students that are part of this amazing program. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Um, let me let me introduce you the, our next leaders who is very passionate to India as well. Kate Ko. Kate Ko is the chief financial officer of Armat University. Kate's career has taken her to India many times at Tesco. She had a team of over 1000 in Bangalore and she often visited. The most importantly, what I came to know, she fell in love in India. From the first visit, particularly the pupils, the cultural, the food and many festivals. Over to you, Kate. Thank you, Suresh. Um, as many people have said already, uh, Diwali symbolizes the victory of light over darkness and the good over the evil. And I feel personally this is really appropriate as we head into Diwali celebrations in the face of the largest uh, global pandemic in over 100 years. So may the lights of Diwali symbolize a turning point, the burning of our recent bad times and entry into better times. I hope Diwali brings everyone gathered here today and around the world in our communities good health, long life and good luck. So happy Diwali everyone. Thank you Kate. Thank you Kate. Uh, I really appreciate your presence over here. Now let me introduce you the great leaders Kalam Dramans. He is the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research Innovations and the Vice President and is really passionate to these programs. Tell me, tell me about Kalams that he has visited India at least three, four times and every time he goes, he always goes to every laboratory. I want here Suresh, I want here Suresh. He has visited CSI laboratories. He has several workshops both in Hyderabad and in IAPs and he's a very strong supporter to the RMIT SSR programs. He was appointed a Officer of the Order of Australia in last year for his outstanding service to the science and innovation. Over to you, Kalam. Thank you very much, Suresh. And it's uh, it's fabulous to be associated with this Diwali uh, celebration and to see uh, all our Indian uh, colleagues uh, once again, albeit uh, virtu virtually. And, and as many people have said, Diwali is the Indian festival of light and happiness and it's celebrated to mark the victory of light against darkness, good against evil and truth against deceit. And what better objective can we have to uh, to um, see um, all those positive um, attributes, characteristics uh, over um, overcome um, the more negative aspects so the year 2020 has proven to be a very challenging year on many fronts with great loss of life and loss of livelihoods all around the world. And um, my saddest moment this year was when I heard about the death of my CSIR colleague, Dr. Surinder Reddy due to uh, COVID-19. Uh, he was only in his early uh, 40s. And along with RMIT Associate Professor Charlotte Conn, Surinda and I supervised an ASA uh, RMIT PhD uh, student, uh, Pushpa Rajuni, who is actually um, at RMIT in Melbourne as we, as we speak. A very sad moment and I just want to use this opportunity to express um, my personal condolences and the condolences of the RMIT uh, community to Surinder's colleagues and to his family and, and friends. Um, nevertheless, today's an opportunity to celebrate Diwali 2020 together and to anticipate a brighter future. Um, it wasn't that long ago that uh, Professor Vargava and I were involved in three joint workshops in India at the Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, um, IICT in Hyderabad, Indian Institute of Te Toxicology Research in Lucknow and the Indian Institute of Petroleum in Dehradun. And while we're in Dehradun, we got the opportunity to take a, um, a, a trip to the Ganges and, and, um, and participate in a celebration uh, there as the sun was setting and to let, uh, let go our, um, our little boats with the candles in them um, and go down the Ganges for um, for good luck and, and with the thoughts of um, a better and prosperous uh, life. 
no doubt the high quality of the students and the scientists at the institutions that 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 we visited was very very evident and their determination to engage in translational research and their keenness to collaborate was truly impressive. RMIT has had a strong and sustainable partnership with Indian institutions for many years and this relationship is growing stronger every day. To date, 35 students affiliated with the RMIT ASA Joint PhD program and its, and its predecessor with IICT have completed their PhDs and the figure, as Alex said, is expected to reach several hundred plus in the next uh, five years or so. so. These highly skillful and well qualified graduates have found employment at high profile academic and industrial institutions globally and locally, and they do the CSIR and RMIT very proud. I have no doubt that this collaboration will continue to build and go from strength to strength and evolve from a joint PhD program to larger scale joint research collaborations between RMIT and Indian CSIR laboratories. Our partnership has stood the test of hardship and the trying times associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. And we anticipate that with the eventual move to a more COVID-19 normal environment in both countries, we can enhance this partnership even further. Finally, and once again, we at RMIT wish you all a very happy, prosperous and safe Diwali. Over to you, Suresh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is the time for dance. Of course, you can't do that. You can't, it's a virtual Diwali, but let me share the amazing music, which is run by the young Indian students. Oh, Akian Sang, Akiala. Akian Sang, Akiala. Yaj, Jome Bar Bar, Mere Man Me Pyar, Nit Rai Sato Mo Sam Aay Na. Akian Sang, Akiala. Yaj, Akian Sang.
Guys, I hope you must have enjoyed it. I really like it, the, the talent of this um, Indian, young Indian talent over there. But let me introduce you first, these students who were, who are the part of the RMIT ACSIR ICT programs. Let us see, what do they say? They have almost completed their PhDs or in the final stage of completing the PhDs. Does this program works really? Let them listen from them. I picked up them from the four corners of India. Yeah, Miss Yoga Lakshmi is in there from Chennai, South India. Lakshmi is from Hyderabad ICT. Shweta is from Delhi. She is still here and doing a PhD. And one student who is not part of these programs, but is the part of this diversity in Diwali all the years. She is from Belgium, Roxanne. Let me introduce you both. All, all these four, they are very keen to say something. Over to you. Over to Lakshmi. I'm sorry, over to Yoga Lakshmi. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Yoga Lakshmi. I'm a PhD student under the unique ACSIR RMIT joint PhD program. Uh, I'm from CSIR Structural Engineering Research Center, Chennai. Uh, I feel so happy, excited and privileged in meeting all of you today and in wishing you all a happy Diwali. Uh, we all know that Diwali is a festival that is celebrated across uh, regions, culture and religions. Uh, so I think this, uh, I think any other, uh, any celebration could not be uh, better than this and more appropriate than this one because we have all come together for celebrating this uh, from different places around the world at different times uh, and also representing a different culture. And also this Diwali is personally very, very, very special to me. Uh, there are two important reasons for saying this. Uh, first of all, uh, I would say that this Diwali has brought in uh, prosperity into my life. I have submitted my uh, PhD thesis recently, that is last week. Uh, many thanks to Professor Sangwan, Professor Bhargava, my lab, and mainly my supervisors, uh, Dr. K. Balajirav and Professor Chun Ching Ni, uh, for making this happen. And secondly, uh, because of the lessons, uh, the COVID-19 has taught me this year. Uh, it is a usual practice uh, that we clean our houses uh, before Diwali to welcome Goddesses Lakshmi into our home. But this time, COVID-19 uh, has has, uh, has helped me to clean my inner self. Uh, to be specific, I, I would say that coronavirus had not just came uh, not just came into my body and made my body immune, but it has also set my attitude right, my thoughts clear, and also it has made my mind uh, strong and stable. So this Diwali is indeed very very uh, close to my heart. And how can I uh, just end without talking about my uh, previous uh, year Diwali celebration? Uh, pre last year I was in Melbourne and I I was emceeing the event uh, Diwali event. Uh, I would. I will proudly say that RMIT has given me such beautiful uh, memories uh, to take away. Uh, what I wonder is uh, how they still manage uh, to embrace me, to support me and keep uh, giving me more such beautiful memories even when I'm uh, this far away. I uh, I sincerely thank RMIT, its dignitaries and uh, Suresh for all of this. Uh, for this Diwali, I would like to make a promise that I will shine bright and I will uh, try to be the best produce of ACSAR and RMIT. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and happy Diwali. I request uh, Lakshmi from IICT uh, to take over and share a few words with us. Thanks. I am Lakshmi Tunki, working under IICT RMIT program. Uh, let's pass on to Shweta. Thanks, Shweta. Uh, if you could just unmute yourself. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Hello, everyone. My name is Shweta and I'm RMIT ACSIR PhD student. And um, I feel myself very fortunate to be selected in this program, in this exchange program between the RMIT and the ACSIR. And um, I feel that this is just one of my best opportunity I have received in my life because that platform is just been a wonderful journey for me and actually it provides me to do my research or to develop my research skills at two different for so first first I would like to thank Professor Suresh Bhargava who has ever thought of 
this program to initiate this program. Um, if if he wouldn't have thought of this program, I would not have been here. And the next thing I would like to give the vice chancellor of RMIT, the deputy vice chancellor of RMIT and the director of ACSIR, director of my lab, CSIR National Physical Laboratory, because if they did make their efforts to make this program happen, I would, would not have been here. So my gratitude and my thanks is more than beyond my words to all of you. And uh, if I talk about my study experience in the RMIT University, it's been just beyond my expectation because um, we all of know that PhD is not going to be a, a smooth journey for all of us. We know that it, it, it is going to have it's going to be have a massive up and down for individuals, especially for the PhD students. But when you have got a positive environment and the supporter around you that can help you a bit to smooth your journey to a smooth sail for your PhD journey. And that the thing I have found in RMIT, the positive environment, the positive supporter and my colleagues, and especially I would like to thank my PhD supervisor in RMIT, the Professor John Andrews. He has been a very, very supporter to me in, in here and he has been a very inspiration to me and he and I, I feel myself an ideal for me to my Professor John Andrews and actually he knows that how to turn a stone into a diamond and that we know that the guru means to remove the darkness and what he does. So I have found two people here, but I found myself um, for me, they are ideal for me. Uh, Professor John Andrews, my PhD supervisor in RMIT and second is Professor Suresh Bhargava because uh, we all of know that Victoria has been under a longest and the toughest uh, COVID restrictions and uh, Professor Suresh Bhargava, he has been in staying touch with all of us in this COVID duration. So I would like to thank him to take care of us and I would like to thank RMIT University who has been in touch with all of PhD students, especially the exchange program students who has been living very far away from their home. And I could just remember the two saying of um, Professor Suresh Bhargava and I just took these things very seriously in my life and he kept saying this thing. Always remember the three hours in your life. And Professor, Professor Suresh Bhargava, apologies, uh, apologies for this, that I, I could just remember only two are here. And the one are is remember the person who helped you in your life, who helped you to lift you up in your life. Always remember the person because that can that help can change in your life forever. And the second, the reciprocate. If you get chance, to do this thing or to reciprocate this thing in your life, do it now. And that's the thing Professor Suresh Bhargava is doing for all of us. And if I would, if I will have chance in my life to be at such position, if you big personality have right now, so I would definitely recreate this. I would definitely reciprocate it in my life. And the second thing that gives me strength to me is if someone can do it, you can do it too. So when I feel myself a little bit weak or sometimes in our journey of PhD, then I just kept remember this saying that if someone can do it, we can do it too. And the last thing, the last thing to I would like to give to my lab, Indian lab, CSIR National Physical Laboratory and the director of my laboratory, my supervisor, my Indian supervisor and my colleague and my friends out there because they have made my roots strong because if our roots are strong, you can go longer. You can go beyond the limits. What the Indian Institute and the what Indian laboratory did for me and the RMIT helping me to grow and to explore and explore the diversity in life in PhD. So I'm just going to finishing off here with to wish all of you a very happy Diwali and I wish this coming Diwali will bring a positivity happiness to all of our life. So thank you so much and I'm just going to hand over to Roxanne here. Hi all, thank you Shweta. Um, first of all, thank you so much for letting me speak during this special event. 
Um, I wanted to say that despite the fact that I'm from Belgium, so I'm not really accustomed usually to the uh, Indian culture, I got lucky to, uh, to be able to do my PhD at RMIT. And this really brought me over like um, contact with multiculturalism every single day. Uh, I actually made a lot of Indian friends uh, over the last years that I've been doing my PhD. I'm now in my last year uh, and I got also lucky to have uh, been able to attend all the Diwali events so far that have been uh, organized by CAMIC the last years. So this year is a little bit special because we are all uh, far away but still connected online. Um, we are still missing all the beautiful saris and the beautiful live dances that we usually have as well as the nice Indian food. But uh, I'm grateful that we can still um, connect and uh, celebrate this together today on this special occasion. So um, thank you so much and uh, happy Diwali to everybody. I'll hand, over, I'll hand over to uh, Teresh for the moment. You are very kind students and I think I know something. OK. OK. Now you are very kind students and you will take you will be our ambassador around the globe. So keep working hard. We are with you, but keep working hard. That's the message. But let me introduce you. My dear colleagues, associate um, and deputy vice chancellors uh, um, and, and the head of the SGR the, who runs these programs, who all the all the HRD programs in the university, uh, Denise Cabards. And she is Denise is a big fan of the Indian culture. She is a passionately involved in all the Diwalis in the past years. She is a passionate about students. She is passionate about the welfare of the students. I know her. I have seen her when when she talks. She really mean it in there too. With these words, I really and she is be a very good support of the RMIT SSR programs always. Denise, over to you. Thank you, Suresh. Could I have my first slide, please? A, a, a very warm welcome to distinguished guests in um, in India, and I believe uh, we have colleagues in Malaysia and possibly also Singapore, Suresh, and of course my esteemed colleagues in Melbourne, distinguished guests and students. Uh, my, my warm wishes and the wishes of the School of Graduate Research for a for a wonderful Diwali uh, a Festival of Light. Next slide, please. So I think one of the, th the the remarkable things about about uh, Diwali and about uh, uh, this this festival is, given the enormous influence of the Indian di diaspora and its and presence of Indians and Indian culture in many many different parts of the world, we can actually say that Diwali is now truly a global a global celebration. And I think we've we've we're experiencing something of that uh, this afternoon. One of the silver linings of this dreadful year of COVID has been um, the, the removal of resistance to uh, connecting digitally. And so it's actually possible for us to do global partnerships and global events and global celebrations such as this one simply by um, switching on our laptop. So uh, many terrible things have happened this year, but uh, in a, in a funny kind of way, um, I think as a global community, we're, we're closer together. And the opportunities to celebrate Diwali in all these different parts of the world is, is actually um, a wonderful thing. Next slide, please. We are very proud um, at RMIT of our strong Indian presence in our um, high degree bar research co cohort. Uh, and we have, uh, as you see there, you know, a, a large number of students who are Indian born, some some now holding um, either Australian or New Zealand citizenship or PR, uh, but, you know, a very, very strong presence of uh, Indian culture in our in our research community and indeed amongst our academic staff at the university. The, the, the internationalization of RMIT is not just restricted to its student body. We also have a very, very diverse faculty. Next slide, please. As um, Suresh will know, and also other colleagues, I am, I'm, I'm passionate about graduate research, and I'm also passionate, passionate about equity and diversity in um, particularly women in STEM. And I did a little bit of research leading up to this event and found that there really is a, 
an enormously strong tradition of um, outstanding scientific innovation by women in India. And I was very, very uh, delighted, Suresh, at the at the selection of students this afternoon. Sweeta, Lakshmi, Yoga and Roxanne, wonderful young women doing outstanding work. And, you know, it, it really it really makes my heart sing to see such diversity and such uh, support uh, for women in STEM uh, through the partnership program with India. Next slide, please. It's a week of many uh, tumultuous events, and I'd just like to take a moment to reflect on the uh, election in the United States, which is almost an example, I hope, of bringing light into darkness. Um, the triumph of um, uh, Joe Biden, and I noticed that one of one of the, the the slogans that he used in the closing stages of the campaign was science over fiction. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping that we, we may see a, a return to uh, evidence-based science guiding public policy. Um, and I'm also uh, would like just to note that we have uh, in the person of Kamala Harris, another example of the wonderful Indian diaspora, uh, the first uh, black vice president of the United States and indeed the first South Asian as well. So we have had a dark and challenging year, but there is light on the horizon. Please accept my warmest wishes for a wonderful Diwali um, and uh, every success in the coming 12 months. Thank, thank you, Suresh. I'm just trying to unmute. OK, now I can talk. So so thank you. Thank you, Denise. I think your words. Let me let me share with you one thing in ACSIR RMIT program. We have a good balance, very good balance of the gender balance, nearly actually in favor of the women's. And we love it because these are outstanding female candidates for sure. And and the ACSR office take a very good care of that all the times. But we we, we do that, we, we take care of that, and we've never been disappointed so far. In all IICT RMIT programs, in ACSR programs, this is in fact our strength. But after that, let me introduce you another my three directors. Somehow they could not join uh, online because you see the difficulties of technology difficulties are always there, but they want to be the part of this celebration. They don't want to miss it. Neither the Indian colleagues, neither the Australian colleagues. And the first one is Professor Alok Dhawan. And Par Professor Alok Dhawan is the director of the CSIR Labs, Indian Institute of Toxicology Research, Lucknow. And Dr. Dhawan has visited RMIT before. And we have visited, as Kalam said in his statements, that we have a workshop in Lucknow as well. He is a great host, great friend, great scientist. And in fact, he got a doctorate of science from UK as well. Second speakers, which will send the video, is uh, Professor Ashwini Kumar Nagya. And he is the, the, the current director of the uh, NCL, National Chemical Laboratory, Pune is in there. He's a renowned theoretical chemist and a laboratory. This NCL Pune is the one of the top laboratories, chemical laboratories in India, established in the just before the independence of India. And many NCL graduates, one important thing, they are now the academics at RMIT. Men, many NCL products, including Professor Vipul Bansal, including uh, Sarvesh uh, Kumar, and also the Kannan, Dr. Kannan, at least I know the three or four names. They are the part of the academic systems of the RMIT and doing very, very well. Besides that, we have a lot of NCL students working in the RMIT ACSR programs. And the third speaker is Dr. D.K. Aswal. Is it there? He is the current director of the uh, National Physical Laboratories. National Physical Laboratories and National Chemical Laboratories, uh, these are the two icon of the Indian National Laboratories is in their CSR systems. One in Pune, one in Delhi. Ashwani is a renowned theoretical chemist. He's a current director of the CSR National Physical Laboratories, as I said to you. And uh, also, he is served as a secretary, Atomic Energy Education Society, Mumbai. Over to you. You can listen to them through videos. Hi everyone, here's wishing you a very, very happy Diwali from CSR, Indian Institute of Toxicology Research, the only institute of toxicology in India. And I had the privilege to actually welcome uh, Professor Callum Drummond and Professor Suresh Bhargav to this institute and to make them aware firsthand of the excellent work that goes on in the niche areas of toxicology. 
And I also had the privilege to actually visit RMIT and see firsthand for myself what kind of work you are doing at the cutting edge of technology and how toxicologists can actually work with technologists to come up with wonderful products. I think this is the culmination of the hard work that Professor Suresh Bhargav has put in to bridge the gap between India and Australia and allow the scientists to work under an MOU between CSIR and RMIT. I think we are very privileged that we have our students from the Institute who are currently working at RMIT and two of them are ready to go again. I think this platform has been a wonderful platform wherein we have exchange program of the students going to RMIT and doing their PhD. And once again, I wish all of you a fantastic festive season uh, starting from Diwali and all the way up to Christmas and Happy New Year. And I hope that all of you keep safe and have a great time ahead. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Good day to all scientists, academicians, professors, and students uh, joining this virtual uh, Deepavali get together from across the globe. I am Ashwini Nangya from National Chemical Laboratory, Pune in India. I want to thank Professor Suresh Bhargava for uh, making this uh, virtual Deepavali celebration platform to bring together all of us in a very interactive and lively mode. I fondly recall the visit of RMIT team late last year of uh, Professor Suresh Bhargava, Pro Vice Chancellor R RMIT, Professor Callum Drummond, uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor RMIT, and a team of uh, professors from the Institute to NCL, in which we had very fruitful interactions between the visiting delegations and the scientists and students uh, at NCL. This has strengthened our uh, mutual interactions and collaborations between the two organizations. Uh, moreover, the joint PhD program between RMIT and ACSIR, Academy CSIR, is going to bring out world-class PhD students who will become the scientists and academicians of the future. In closing, uh, I would like to thank uh, Suresh for bringing together this uh, group of multicultural, multinational uh, scientists and students together, uh, and also give the students who are at MIT, RMIT uh, a feeling of being at home on this uh, festival week of uh, the Pavli, the festival of lights. And also I look forward to having a chance to visit RMIT in the, in the coming days. I wish all of you a wonderful festival week ahead. Be safe. Namaskar. This is Dinesh Aswal, Director of National Physical Laboratory, New Delhi. I wish all the faculty members and students of RMIT University a very happy Digital Diwali. Last year, a team of RMIT led by Professor Bhargava visited NPL and we discussed many possibilities of the collaborations. As of now, four of our students are working at RMIT and all of them are doing very well. On 4th January 2021, NPL will be celebrating its 75th Foundation Day and the function will be inaugurated by none other than Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. I request all the RMIT faculty members and students to join our function. With this, once again, I wish you a very happy day. Okay, I think we have listened quite a lot. We, what we want to do, just to listen to the music dance first before I introduce you my two speaker online. Lisa, we have a Indian dance music by the talented Australian artist. Vande Matram was the old national songs of India.
So guys, you saw that we have some artists in Melbourne who can also perform very well. So I hope you have enjoyed that, isn't there? But then now, let me enjoy, let me introduce you one of the great translation research and technologist of India, Professor Anjan Ray. Anjan Ray uh, is known particularly for his outcome focus translation research. He's a great fan of the fundamental research, but at the same time, he wants to see their implications. We have the last year workshop in IIP, Industry of Petroleums. IIP is the organization where you just you go, you fall in love because it is set up in a very natural environment is there. Dr. Ray has also visited RMIT in 2017 in the academic sharp brains. He was the keen judge of that event in there. And last year he hosted us 
in the two days workshops at in this foothill of the Himalayas. Anjan, over to you. Thank you, Suresh. Uh, very happy Diwali to the RMIT community and to all my colleagues and friends from India and elsewhere in the world who are on this call. I'm not going to spend much time on the scientific side of things because all of my colleagues have spoken about that and about the exchanges between RMIT and uh, the CSI and ACSR establishments. Instead, let me greet you on Diwali with lines from an Australian band that I was very fond of during my long career as a music DJ. The Seekers, a song called I Am Australian, in which they say, we are one, but we are many. From all the lands of the earth we come, we share a dream and we will sing with one voice. And I think that's the spirit of this Diwali celebration today, where we bring together people from diverse backgrounds, all of whom share a common vision to work together, to work sustainably, to work for shared success across the global community. And with that, let me briefly again wish you happy Diwali. OK, now. Second speaker, I don't know, Lisa, he is now successfully in connecting with audio or video. Dr. Chanshekar from director of the CSIR Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, Hyderabad, but without his message, without his talking, I believe that uh, our function would be incomplete because one thing, the IICT Hyderabad is our first footprint in India and he's a great host. He's a great friend. He's a great scientist. He's a board fellows. You name it. He's a fellow of all the academies of India's. Most importantly, he's also a very good administrator, very good directors. And also he always uh, uh, sum that that, OK, yes, yes, Suresh, go ahead. He make the decision very quickly and he always welcome all of us wholeheartedly. All RMIT executives have visited IST Hyderabad in the past last five years. They are starting from vice chancellor to to the bottoms, many students and 33 IICT graduates have completed their PhDs and wandering around the globes is in there too, including many in Melbourne as well is in there. Srinivas Tandulka, he's here. Uh, he's a PR there. The, the uh, Shanti Priya, after PhD, she got the Monash University as a junior lecturer in the chemical engineering. Many good stories all around. So over to Chandra, if you can talk to us, that will be good. Have you got any success or are we still struggling, Lisa? Oh, I'm sorry, so she does not appear to be able to unmute. Um, I suggest we, um, how about we go back to the student Lakshmi? Yeah, uh, okay, let us do that. In the meantime, if we're successful, then we can bring him back. Okay, Lakshmi, over to you. You missed out because the network was lost. Lakshmi, come in. Hello, everyone. My sincere apologies for the technical error. Uh, I am Lakshmi Tunki, doing my PhD under IACT RMIT program. I take this opportunity to wish a very happy and joyful Diwali to you and your family members on behalf of RMIT IACT students. Diwali is an occasion to celebrate victory over defeat. May this festival of light will bring a ray of hope that we would defeat this global pandemic COVID-19. Let me say that I am the proud student of RMIT IACT. This joint research program can be compared to Diwali, where the festival brings light on a no moon day, whereas this program brought light in the lives of many students like me. PhD under RMIT IACT is a perfect example of bringing globalization into research, where we get a chance to do research both at IACT and RMIT University using world-class facilities. At RMIT University, we were skilled to train, we were skilled trained to use a range of laboratory facilities pertaining to our field of research. The most important thing is we receive hands-on training that is very important in gaining knowledge and also for getting employability. I'll never lose this golden opportunity to thank the founders of RMIT IACT research program. I would extend my gratitude to chancellors, provost chancellors, deputy vice chancellors of RMIT University, directors, CSIR IACT Hyderabad, and my supervisors both at IACT and RMIT. To me, RMIT is the best university and a true platform for multicultural activities. Being a mother of a kid, 
I came to RMIT Melbourne and during this time I never felt that I am away from my family. RMIT cares about students a lot even in the most difficult times of life. Thank you RMIT for everything. Your care for students is highly impeccable. Speaking in front of eminent people like you made my Diwali 2020. Thank you RMIT Diwali coordinators for giving me this opportunity. Once again, a very happy and special Diwali to all. I hand over. Thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi. I think we really appreciate your warnings and wish you all the success in your life, in your journey, which starts now after completion of the PhD from RMIT. Guys, we have some problems. Looks like to me that uh, we are not successful in connecting with uh, Hyderabad. So still are we getting Chandra, Lisa? I think he should be on there. Ch Chandra, can you speak please? Chandra, do we have you? Chandra, can you unmute? Can you speak to us? Maybe not so much. Let's uh, let's roll. Continue with Magdalena, please. Magdalena, okay. Then probably if you can try, we can take him the last. Okay. Um, guys, we are coming to the closing ceremony and I ask for my dear colleagues, Professor Magdalena. Uh, and uh, Magdalena is a well-known scientist in the ovarian cancer in the world. She's an ECP director of the RMIT. The most important thing I came to know, she loves Indian philosophy. And she was planning to go to the India, but then this COVID comes and other problem comes. But she is now establishing a strong collaboration with ICT Hyderabad. I invited her, Meg, that if you can say just a few words, thank you to all the VIPs of this event. Magdalena, over to you. Thank you, Suresh. Um, it, it, it is a real honor and happy Diwali, everyone. It, it's been a fantastic um, celebration and thank you, Suresh, for putting this together and, and bringing us together, uh, firing us up. Uh, now, if I can have the next slide, please. Um, this has been said before, but um, I, I, want to, I want to say something more about it. Uh, the value symbolizing the spiritual victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. Uh, the picture behind is just um, an eclipse of the sun and the moon has just gone. And um, the darkness and the darkness that we're experiencing now, the darkness that we have been experiencing before, the light is always there. Um, sometimes it's, it's just obscured. And in the meantime, while, while there is some darkness, um, it's just such inspiring to see across both sides uh, of India and of Australia, this amazing leadership that has come together, leadership in science, leadership in innovation, leadership in mentorship. And if I can have my next slide, please. Next slide. <laughs> this too shall pass. That was the moon passing over the sun. Um, next. Um, and, and an amazing thing about the people who have come here together. They're all, they're all inspirational leaders, um, fantastic scientists. And um, the students, the students are our candles. Um, the students are the little lights that that have little, not not little. Uh, they're probably burned brighter than the sun at some point, but at the moment they have been lit. They have been lit by this beautiful coming together of um, institutions, of individuals who really want to make a difference. I really want to say I was so inspired to hear Sveta, Lakshmi, Roxanne, Yoga, just sharing their experiences and their passion to do more into the future. So um, there's a very, very long list of dignitaries and they're all um, really <laughs> well, I, I, don't, I don't think I can um, 
I can really make any justice um, pointing out individuals. Uh, I, the only individuals I would like to point out is um, Suresh and um, just to thank him. <laughs> he didn't know I was going to do this. Um, just to thank him uh, for really keeping this going, uh, being passionate, lighting this fire and, and keeping it alive. Um, if it's darkness because the moon is passing over the moon, <laughs> sorry, the sun, the moon is passing over the sun or, or any other kind of darkness, just keeping those fires going and uh, he has inspired me. I want to keep these fires going as well and I am, I am deeply grateful uh, for the beautiful introductions I have had with Indian colleagues and, and really hope to take it further. So just, just from me, happy Diwali and same as Alex, I did have a candle um, standing on the side and um, I hope it's wonderful for you all. Thank you. OK, let us try one more times if we can connect our the the, the very great collaborators. Chan Shekhar, Dr. Chan Shekhar from IICT. Lisa, can we try that? Before I come to the team I, to say I, thanks. I'm sorry, Sumesh, he was on and then he's unfortunately dropped off again. So let's go okay. to the thank yous. OK, well then probably I want to say the thanks. Thanks for the team. This work, this event was impossible. I can Suresh. tell you. Yeah, yeah. I will yeah. Can I come in, Suresh? Pardon? Can I come in? Can I speak? Uh, Am wait. I audible? Okay. Am I audible? All right. OK. Right. OK. Yeah. I think uh, if this. Uh, I, I just. Hello. I just want to thank uh, Suresh and the team for organizing this whole event on behalf of ACSIR. I say it's great. I wish uh, everyone a happy Diwali. Our students at RMIT and our students in India, in our campuses across the country. Thank you, Suresh. Thank you. No problem at all. OK, any luck, Lisa, at all? Vichandra? Hi, Suresh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Come back. Come on. So we can hear you. So Come on, get out. I think your technical team is awesome, I will tell you. Uh -huh. I think uh, they have done the best to make sure that I speak to all of you. Thank you, Suresh, for a wonderful uh, event. And honestly, I'm not missing Diwali now. I think the way you have done the fireworks, the way the cultural events, and the messages, super. I think you are the hero of the day today. Thank you, Suresh, for the outstanding event. Happy Diwali to all the friends who have joined the call. My apologies. I was confident that I would speak live and I didn't want to send a video. I think uh, that made a little hitch and uh, but I'm glad that I think the technical team worked very hard to put me on call. Thanks all again. I think uh, very, very, very special thanks to Rohan for I think putting me on the call. Diwali has been the fest of lights and uh, greetings to all my Australian friends. While Indians are aware, it's actually the victory of uh, good over the bad. So we all know that uh, Corona is our bad enemy across the planet. And this Diwali, I'm sure we are going to defeat Corona. Vaccines are around. I'm sure the vaccine of Pfizer, the vaccine of Indian origin, Bharat Biotech, the vaccine of AstraZeneca. I think all are around. I'm sure we are likely to have a wonderful new year very soon in the eight weeks time. All of us will get vaccines and we travel again physically and we'll have a real Diwali very soon. I wish all of you a great time. And again, thank you, Suresh, for making ISCT a nodal lab for RMIT. I'm sure we continue to have a great relation. We'll expand our activities. And I think uh, Kalam Drummond has been a great friend of uh, CSR IICT and the Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor. My greetings to all of you. Looking forward to have a physical meeting very soon in India, having a great meal at our very favorite restaurant in India. Thank you all. Happy Diwali. <laughs> Thank you, Chandra. I think finally we got you. And there is a common phrase if there is a will, there is a way. And Chandra, you came out. I'm really glad. I'm really glad because IICT is the first footprint of 
RMIT and definitely one to me. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the ends and thank you very much to all of you to be there with me. And also, I this was totally impossible to make it without the contribution of these teams. Lisa, you think Lisa was always still there too. And Abhijit from college, Fiona and Luis, Sunil Mehlas, who picked the first video is there. Rahul Gupta, who provided, uh, you know, the, the dancing the last dancing videos to us. Nari Freemans, who is the real coordinator. She is the coordinating right now. Is still like that. Ruen Anandas, Rashmi Datta from the Globals, Brooks, Deborah. But let me allow to say this event was almost impossible without the contribution of this event assistant, Piyomi. She worked tired. Let's see. You know her name. She's connecting you in India. She's connecting you in the city in, in uh, Australia as well. Is all the times there too. With, with even on our leave, she works tirelessly. See, she knows the importance without looking at the clocks as well. So thank you, Piyami. Uh, is my my gratitude to you all is in there too. Thank you guys. I wish you a very very happy Diwali to all of you. And one day we will celebrate. My promises to you. I will deliver to you the maximum, the best fruit of India next times if the COVID-19 is defeated by this Diwali. Thank you very much indeed.